Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Space Marines Primaris Eliminators. This box set will cost you £30 for three models. I was really on the fence with these. I saw the sprues and I thought, yeah, you get quite a few options and things with the sprues, so I thought I'd, I'd go for it. Um, I was on the fence with the Death Shroud Terminators for the uh, Death Guard and they were £35. I prefer the look of those models, but again, the £35 for three just, you know, jarred me a little bit. Even though I'm used to paying £20 for one, but hey, you know, and he's got no options. He's just a single pose miniature with the amount of parts just to make him, whereas these guys have got the three sprues with loads of different parts, different weapon options, different poses and things. So let's have a look at these. The only way to get eliminators is through this box, is through this paying this £30. Uh, you could get three eliminators where two of them looked exactly the same um, in the Shadow Spear box set uh, that came out a few months ago. Let's unbox this. Um, you might be able to get them, you know, somewhere else, maybe if you really want them, if you really want some cheap ones. Uh, but these are the other poses and things you can get uh, for them. The, the thing is, I kind of want them all with Last Fusils. Uh, but that pose is so cool. I love it. Absolutely love it. Up close and personal. Oh, just brilliant. It's like a bolt pistol with this silencer on it. And uh, I'm not a big fan of that pose or those. Uh, that's all right. But anyway, <laughs> I digress. Let's uh, have a look in here. So just take these out. They're the three sprues. Oh, they're the three bases. So the 40 mil bases are like Terminator bases that we're, we're used to. We'll have a look at uh, the instruction guide and the, the rules and things first. Get a big Ultramarines uh, infantry transfer sheet. That's pretty good. It's got all the, the numerals on it. And then you get the three sprues. Uh, I think all three, three sprues are different. So we'll have a look at them in a moment. So this is the instruction guide. Uh, it says eliminators. Read this first. And there you go, you've got Eliminator Sergeant, you've got uh, three different versions of him. With the last fusil, uh, with the instigator bolt carbine and the, uh, I want to say binoculars. It doesn't say, but you know what I mean. And then he's got like an omniscope or something uh, off of the, the scope off of the gun. So that's with the bolt sniper rifle. I've already got three with bolt sniper rifles, so I... I, I am leaning towards them having not last few souls. Um, even though bolt sniper rifles are pretty good, you can't have six in a squad. You can only have three, and technically I've got three somewhere already. Um, so that's the sergeant. This is the other guy. It looks all right with the last few souls. Same sort of pose as that, but that looks pretty cool with the with the pistol. Uh, and then this guy. That's a really cool pose. I do like that. I'm not a, that much of a fan of this one. Um, he's reloading, I think he's reloading, or maybe he's reaching for, he's reaching into his pouch, probably he's getting, he's getting hungry, maybe, but that's, that's a cool pose. Anyway, um, so you get two poses each for the, so you get two poses for Eliminator 2, three poses for Eliminator 1, and three for the, uh, Sergeant. So a total of eight poses, or eight configurations. They're the rules, they're in the brand new um, Primaris Codex, I wanna call it. You've got the bolt sniper rifle, you've got all these different rounds, um, the instigate bolt carbine, and then the last fusil. They're pretty powerful. They're a heavy support choice. They've got those camo cloaks, which help them even more in cover. You've got that cover in fire, you've got the concealed positions, which is brilliant. And you've got the guided aim from uh, the sergeant, and also you've got the angels of death rule, which you'll, you know, you need to the codex to sort of find that out, or just Google it. Anyway, that's the uh, instruction guide. Let's have a look at these sprues. So we'll have a look at the one on its own firstly. Um, so there's the bolt sniper rifles. Two of them there on that sprue. Uh, you've got a bit of a scenic base there, a bit of uh, masonry and the pouches and must look like medals, like kind of marksman purity seal medals, I want to call them, uh, or awards. 
You've got uh, three heads on here. You've got two that are cloaked, one with his uh, goggles up, uh, one with some kind of rebreather type thing, one with a rebreather with the hood off. You've got a power plant that's um, got the camera cloak over it. Uh, you've got a leg and an arm. So that's that sprue. Uh, and then these two sprues, if you just pop them off like that and let's, let's have a look at them individually. So this one's, you've got a, a cloak on there as well. Uh, you've got another bit of scenery piece. Um, looks like some kind of uh, grating. Um, more masonry, two power plants, but one's got the bolt sniper rifle um, slung on the shoulder. It's a shame you can't have that with the blast fusil because then I would have used the, the pistol one, uh, pistol pose. There's the pistol pose itself holding, you know, two hands. So the blast fusil looks epic there. Uh, I love the coils in there. I love like it's, it's housed as well. Just looks like a really cool mini last cannon. It's fantastic. Um, got some power batteries. I want to say batteries for the last fusil probably. Um, and you've got the three heads. Again, you've got two cloaked. Um, this one's got its goggles on though, and a rebreather type goggles, but you haven't got a rebreather goggles under a cloak like the, like the first sprue. That's the second sprue. And then finally the third sprue, you've got the cloak again, and this time you've got four heads. Um, not four heads, but head, there are four heads on this sprue. Rebreather and the goggles with the hood. Uh, rebreather goggles off and oh another one but with like a Sam Fisher type goggles uh, and then I think that's going to be the sergeant with the uh, sort of communications array I don't really want to call it a walkie-talkie uh, then you've got the bolt sniper rifles and the instigator bolt carbine and then another last fusil um, bits and pieces pouches um, the purity seal hand on a pa on uh, hand on the um, binoculars, I want to call them. So then that's that. So that's pretty good, you know, £30 for the three sprues, plenty of options there. Uh, it kind of just sucks that uh, the pose I want, the, the guy with the um, the eliminator with that pistol, can't have an underslung last fusil. That's, I say that squad, it isn't a squad, it's just a, you know, reflection. You've got um, last fusil, bolt sniper rifle and the um, uh, another bolt sniper rifle as well. Uh, it specifically says every eliminator can be equipped with one last fusil instead of one bolt sniper rifle, which yeah, limits you to have all three with the same. It's okay though, I'll, for I'll forgive that, but that is a really cool um, pose and model. Um, and if I didn't already have three with um, bolt sniper rifles, I would pick that one as well. Anyway, what do you guys think of uh, this box set and these sprues? Uh, do you think it's worth the £30 for the, for the three? Um, bearing in mind you can get 10 Primaris Intercessors for £5 more. Yes, that's 10 and they do have lots of options, um, but they're, I say, as poseable as these. That They're not poseable. Please do put your thoughts and opinions down below. Uh, I am looking forward to the, I think, the infiltrators and the transport. Uh, they're yet to to uh, be brought out. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.